state in a little while, you'll notice that we've mixed up the township apparatus. This was intentional to signify the unity of the West Mahoney Township Fire Department instead of three separate stations. As our program continues, we'll have a few speakers and a few presentations. First, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce the president of the Altamont Fire Company, Al Dizick, and president of the William Penn Fire Company, Richard Stevens. First of all, I want to say thank you for being here and uh, for all coming today with the cool weather. Thank you very much. Um, as the Altamont, we have put a lot of time and hard work into getting this new truck. And I would like to thank the firefighters and members of the Altamont for making this possible today. Back to the Altamont Fire Company, we would like to wish William Penn good luck with their new truck and thank them for their support. And I want everybody to have a good time today and be safe going home. Thank you. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can top that. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, Township Fire Department as a whole has been working great together lately. Um, I'd like to thank our neighboring departments for their assistance through the years. Uh, thank everybody for coming out. Uh, wish Altamont the best of luck with their new truck. And everybody have a good time. Hopefully the weather cooperates for the rest of the day for us. Thank you. Next, we're briefly going to hear representing the West Mahoney Township Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Chairman Chris Moore. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to be here. I was honored to be invited here. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been around so many brave people in my life. And that's what we shouldn't ever forget. These fire companies, these firemen. They risk their life every time they go out. Must never forget them. The Board of Supervisors, West Mahoney Township, will do and we we try to do what we can to help. Because we honor you people and we look up to you people. And I can't say, I don't know what I could say other than so many so many heroes here and so many great people. It's outstanding. I'd like to congratulate you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. This next guy, in my personal opinion, for what that's worth, is an extremely valuable asset to the fire service of Schuylkill County. Chief of the Gerardville Fire Department, President of the Schuylkill County Fire Chiefs Association, some people know him as Fred Zangri, you know him as Frank Zangari. Rich, that was twenty dollars for that introduction, just so you know. Thank you, Dad. By the way, if you weren't in the men's room when you came here, I went in there and had to pee in the toilet. The urinal's about this high. <laughs> Thank God Father's here because I give my personal opinion on the bathroom here. I look back at Aldemont and the Heights and, and William Penn uh, from the Gerardville aspect as always being uh, under good leadership, good training, and, and a wide range of firefighters, both men and women. Uh, back to the days when Buzz was, was up there, Aldemont is certainly a, a clutch for Gerardville for many years as well as William Penn. So today is just a step forward for all of Schuylkill County to notice three different entities, three different locations, 
one outstanding fighter. Congratulations, guys, and good luck with the entire day, and be safe with your new equipment. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Our guest speaker for this afternoon can be described in many ways. Instructor, author, history buff, but I think the best description is a friend of the fire service. President of the Schuylkill Historical Fire Society, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Kitsop. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, folks, for being here with us for today. It was the author, Kurt Vonnegut, who said, there's no greater gift than man has given to fellow mankind than a fire engine. And we have two here today to show our appreciation. Today is a day of appreciation. Despite a horrible economy, despite dwindling active firefighters, despite a steady erosion of support from federal government, state, county, and guess what, folks? This guy grew up on the other side of the mountain. Look around. There's not a lot of money around here. These two fire companies are putting better equipment into service. And we have to be very, very appreciative and very, very thankful for that despite the odds. And I'm going to tell you from a uh, historical perspective, we love Hans at the Fire Museum. <laughs> and Hans, these, most of your Hans were made with Schuylkill County people. They were made by Schuylkill County people and they made, made very, very well. And I love the Spartan here as well. But I just wanted to note that with the Han. Take a look at back in history, folks. Right here, this fire company, William Penn, has been serving West Monterey Township and our surrounding areas since 1907. Do the math, folks. That's 104 years of service to the community. While Audemont Fire Company is a little younger, they, uh, their history dates back uh, a little bit before 1931. 1931, they officially organized but they organized out of the remains of the Crestmont Fire Company, which uh, actually was in service well back into the, uh, into the teens. Well, not quite 100 years of service. We combined the two, and there's almost 200 years of service to the, uh, to the community. Something else about these two fire companies, folks, that touches my heart a bit. Number one, I fought fires with these two fire companies. And a lot of the people who are out here looking at the faces now, we trained together. I did training courses with them. And that means something to me because it has touched my life and these people out here. I know the players today, I know their fathers, some of them I know their grandfathers. And it holds a deep spot in my heart. What does this all mean? It means if you live in West Monroe Township, your fire protection just got a little bit better. And that is something to say, folks. That is a lot to say here for today. I want to end with one other remembrance here, folks. Uh, while we're here to show our appreciation for these two fire companies and their accomplishments with these two engines today, let us not forget what happened 10 years ago today on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Let me share with you a brief poem. Now let us bow our heads here for a moment. The flag, it flies now at half-mast. There is the sound of silence. As we remember that awful day, the horror and the violence. The buildings crumbled and then fell. The earth was red with blood. The firefighters fought courageously, doing more than anyone could. The world it watched in dismay on that awful September day. Ten years ago, but still the pain is raw, but there was a gain. In our togetherness, we thrive. Americans, together, we survive. Thank you very much, folks. Thanks, Mike. serves as the Vice President of the Wilding Penn Fire Company and Chief Engineer as well. And it's also my little brother, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas Cannon. I'm not going to this 
so bear with me. We'd like to thank some people today for their contributions to our company and our department. I'd like to start first by telling a quick story on what thank you means to me. A couple of years ago, I went to the World War II Memorial with my grandfather and some other family members. While they're getting in the big I walked up to my grandfather and asked him to be served. And he said yes. The kid then put his hand out, shook my grandfather's hand, and thanked him for his service. Later on, my grandfather told me that he was never honored as much as he was that day. So with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today and supporting us. I'd like to thank everybody here for volunteering and doing what we do. We don't hear enough. Thank you. Thank you to the truck committee, all our officers and members for making this truck possible. For painting lettering, and I'm thanking these guys, not just for painting the work, but they did a great job and gave us a real good deal. Thank you, Ashland Body Works, for paint. The diamond plate works and body repairs. Thank you, Mark T. Boyle, for welding. These next thank yous mean a lot to me. I met this group of guys six years ago, and they've done so much for our fire company since then. I can't thank them enough. If I could get the members from the Tuscarora Fire Company to come up, please. Now. <laughs> <laughs>
want to recognize those three individuals for the internal help they gave us, as we would recognize everybody else here for the external and the outside help they gave us. up that portion of the program um, we're going to go on and, and do the housing uh, what's going to happen at this point is we're going to have uh, father hatchrack will bless both of the apparatus here at our station um, we are going to christen ours and officially house ours once that's done we're going to line up and head on out of here and head on up to the altamont once we get to the altamont and we get everybody parked in position the altamont will then christen and house their apparatus so, uh, once again a, a final thank you all of you for coming out and supporting uh, not just the William Penn and the Alpha, but the